A suicide bomb in northwest Pakistan this morning has killed five and caused massive damage in the city of Hangu. There was also a counterattack, and fighting now continues along the Afghan border. Colby Selinsky is on the line to fill us in on this. Uh, Colby, what happened uh, this morning? Thanks, Cliff. Well, the first bombing in Hangu, uh, yes, it killed five people. Of them, four of them were pedestrians. One was a police officer, and it caused extensive damage to that street there. Eyewitnesses say that about eight or nine buildings were essentially just uh, wiped out on that street. There was a second bombing uh, in another border town in northwest Pakistan. Um, although details on that are still coming in. This happened in a very uh, uh, remote area of the country. It's out of bounds to journalists, so all of our info is quite spotty right now, but all indications out of the Pakistan this morning were that this was a Taliban uh, uh, suicide bombing. So the military counterattack, tell me about that. Yeah, well, again, we are, our information is kind of flooding in, but local officials there say that, that the military did issue a counterattack uh, in that region in Pakistan and they say that eight uh, militants were killed in that attack again they're targeting the Taliban or Al-Qaeda for these kinds of attacks and they've been going back for a couple years now so there's quite a lot of history to this conflict isn't there yeah well going back to 2008 that's when the when the uh, military first started to target uh, Taliban strongholds and former Prime Minister Benazir Bhutto was murdered in December of 2007 so these kind of started to really pick up right after that uh, there have been several suicide bombings since then. They've been on uh, sporting events, hotels, in, uh, in uh, rebel strongholds. Um, and they've wiped out any number of people, killing between 30 and 150 people each, each time. They've been very frequent. And this example this morning is just another event in this long line of history here. Okay, thank you, Colby. That's Colby Solinsky reporting there.